Hey guys, it's X Original Hostings, and today I'm just gonna show you a couple of city tweaks and also some jailbreak apps. Let me just prove to you that I'm running the Evasion 7 jailbreaks on the latest firmware 7.0.4. So we'll just go to general and about and we'll slow down very slowly. And just to prove to you that this is the iOS 7, I'll just slide back and it will go back. So I'm just going to jump straight into the tweaks. We got 2x2 folder icons. This just allows you to change your folder icons. It doesn't really look as good because I haven't I've got reduced motion on. So I'll just take go and turn that off for you guys. So as you can see it's turned off now. And we will go down and we'll go into photographic and it will open like that. And when we go back, it will close. So that is 2x2 folder icons. The next one is accelerate. This actually changes your animations to make them faster. I know everybody says that there's springboard settings, but this one makes it really faster. Like we can make it warp speed, Ultraman, Superman. Or we can make it very, very slow, like grass growing, a very lazy cat, Homer Simpson, exceedingly slow. So that is Accelerate. The next one is AirPlay. This allows you, if you have an iPad jailbroken on the iOS 7 that has AirPlay or iOS 6, you can actually connect your iPhone to the iPad and play your music from out the iPad. The next one is Carrier Pigeon. This does not work all the time, but it works at certain points. Like this allows you to change your carrier name. You can see here, I got X mods, and it's not there, it says no service because I am not in the UK right now. I have moved to the United States. I will be back soon. The next one is Color Keyboard. This one isn't fully working yet, but they give you a couple of themes that do work, like all of these ones here that you can put on yourself so that is color keyboard they will bring it on update for it the next one is display recorder this is an iOS 7 recorder and I've already told you about that so I'm gonna move on to the next one the next one is emphasize this actually allows you to change the status bar while in an app like if I go into Activate, it will make it Charmeleon, which is just hot red. Or if I go into Blackberry Messenger, it will make it Charmeleon, which is hot red. Hot red, sorry. So I haven't got a chance to do all of these yet. So we'll move on to the next one. The next one is Kill Background 7. If I double click, it will show me two big buttons, which allows me to kill all of the apps that I'm running right now. But I'm not going to do that because I'm running display recorder and that will kill the recording. So we'll move on to the next one. This one is local AP store. They actually updated it for iOS 7 to make it available. It allows you to get in-app purchases for free without purchasing. I will not go into how, how to do it, but in the next video I will. So that is local AP store. The next one is mini player. I'm sure you guys have heard of this, it's what's on the side of my screen, you can just slide it out and slide it to the next side if it's getting in your way, but it actually allows you to control your music, like you can play your music, since I haven't got any music because I freshly restored to do the jailbreak, it won't play anything, but if you just decide you're on the home page or you're in a different app and you don't want to switch to your music, you just want to switch real quick, you can just pull out this and tap on it and click next song. Or you can just click this and it will open your music. So that is mini player. You can change the color from white to black by double tapping on it. Or you can go into settings and change it black and white. So the next one is NC colors. I'm not very sure what this does. I think it changes the colors of your springboard, but I'm not really seeing that. So. They will update that, so I'm going to leave that alone. 
The next one is record and torch. I'm sure you know what it is by the name, or you have by if you're recording a video and you want to put on your torch, you can just tap a button and it turns on the torch. And as you can see here, there's a gesture for iOS 7 where you just click the button and it turns on. The next one is swipe shift character. So this actually allows you to change the shift. Like, let me show you. If I put in my YouTube channel, so if I just slide over, it allow me to change anything. Usually, you have to make it hard and do it the hard way because Apple has made it annoying. But this just allows you to slide over and do what you want with it. Like you can change this to an N or a B, and you can change this to a G. And then you can just go back to the end by sliding to the right. So that is shift character. Now on to the apps. The first app is iFile. I'm sure everybody's familiar with iFile. It is working on iOS 7. The only thing is it won't register. So that is iFile. I'm not going to click on it because sometimes it freezes your device. But do you know they will bring out an update for that? So we're just going to leave that. This one is Activator. Let's just wait for this to boot up. This actually allows you to change what your buttons do. Like, if I go to my home page and I click my start as bar once, it allows me to turn on the SHSH or turn on Wi Fi or Bluetooth or data or brightness. Or it gives me my IP address and all sorts. So, that is SB settings in the top. That is part of Activator. So the next one is if I double tap my status bar, it will come up with Harlem Shake. So let me just show you guys that. So let's just let you guys watch this and then we're done. We're going to the next week. So that is Harlem Shake 7, you can get in the studio store, but the only way to activate is if you have activator, because you have to put it as somewhat, like when I double tap my status bar, turns it on. So the next one is Terminal. This actually allows you to get root access. This is colorboard. This will only come up if you're on the iOS 6, as you can see here, keyboard. So if I type in SU, and then the default which one which should be alpine it should it shouldn't look like it's typing it in but you do type it in and then you click return and it comes up with var and mobile you click cd and it comes up with your root access so that is mobile terminal so i think that's it for now nope we got one more movie box i'm just going to show you quickly what this does Let's just wait for it to boot up. This actually allows you to watch any new movies that come out or any old movies. Like, all you have to do is if I want to watch this Bigger With Me too, I could just, or Wolverine, I could just click on it. And it says loading. Sorry, my internet's a bit slow here, so let's just wait for this. It also gives you a bio to tell you what it's about, and you can actually download the film in high definition or medium or low, or you can just watch it now. You just click watch it now and watch the film on the go. If you have 3G network or if you're at home, you can just connect to the Wi-Fi. So that is the movie box. You can get it in the repos that I'm going to put in the description. 
But I think that is it for now. So, peace.